Transmission 0112TK. Location Alaris Prime. Encoded to Jedi Council. Qui Gon Jin transmitting. An unexplored world is a hostile world. I must help the Wookiee leader Atichituk to learn the lay of the land. Only then can we find an appropriate place to settle. End transmission. Before we unload workers and equipment, Chewbacca and his friend Shoran need to scout the area. <laughs> Shoran has moved on ahead, but don't worry. He left markers so we could find him in this wilderness. Now move ahead to the first marker by right-clicking near it. Good. I see another marker now. Let's go there. Click on Chewbacca, then right-click near the next marker. Ah, do you see it? There's the next marker. In order to get to it, we'll have to travel through the black area. Right-click on the next marker. The black area represents territory you haven't seen. It clears up as Chewbacca moves towards it. I suspect Shoran is nearby. Move towards the next marker. Shoran says he has found an obstruction in the path. It could be dangerous. We should stick together. To explore as a group, click near the units and drag around them. Good. Now right-click near the marker to the north. I see the problem now. Scroll north by moving your mouse to the top of the screen. Click on that tall structure to select it. It's like a malfunctioning power core. This world is supposed to be uncolonized. Someone else was here. What drove them away? No matter. It's a hazard. We should get rid of it. Scroll back downward to your group by moving your mouse to the bottom of the screen. Select your explorers by clicking near them and dragging a box around them. Now, scroll north to the power core again. But this time, right-click on it to attack. Your units will advance across the map and attack the power core. Excellent work, my friend. <laughs> Chewbacca's father, Atichituk, awaits us to the north. I can see one of his markers ahead. Let us continue. Keep following the markers until we find Atichituk. Looks like he's already staking a claim. What's that? Atichituk smells trouble. Gundarks, they're attacking the camp! Don't worry, they're no match for Wookiee warriors. Click a warrior and right-click a Gundark to attack. Defeat them before they can tear down the camp. Excellent fighting, my friend. The Gundarks must have damaged that power core and driven off its owners. We won't be so easily scared away. I have located a malfunctioning power core. Destroyed by a Gundark, sir. You will deal with these Gundarks, too. Uh, Find them, skin them, and bring the pelts to our Trandoshan friends. Yes, sir. He has begun the journey of discovery that will ultimately transform him into a great leader. Give a Wookiee bantha meat and he'll eat for a day. Teach a Wookiee to hunt bantha and he'll eat for a lifetime. Gathering resources, including metal, food, nova crystals and carbon, is critical to this colony's survival. I will endeavor to help Atichituk and his son Chewbacca to gain this capability. The key to colonization is self-sufficiency. We begin gathering resources right away. We will need to gather 200 food, 100 carbon, 50 nova crystals, and 50 ore. 
To begin, click one worker. Now, to begin gathering food from the Muja fruit bush, right click on it. Now look in the status area at the bottom of the screen. If you have a worker selected, you can see how much food the worker is holding. The worker will keep picking Muja fruit until he is carrying 10 foods. Then he will carry it to the command center and return to the Muja fruit bush for more. You can learn more by moving your mouse over any of the symbols on the bottom of the screen. You can also see a miniature map of your surrounding area. To gather food faster, select all your workers and send them to work by right-clicking on a fruit bush. To remind yourself what your objectives are, click on the Objectives button on the far right side of your screen. When your objectives change, this button will flash to let you know. You can monitor your current stockpiles of food above the mini-map in the lower right corner of the screen. You can also monitor your carbon, nova crystal and ore stockpiles. You've gathered 50 food, which is enough to create another worker. See that large building? That's your command center. Click on your command center. Then click the Create Worker button in the lower left corner of the screen. Now watch the progress bar in the status area at the bottom of the screen. When the progress bar reaches 100%, your new worker will appear next to your command center. Another way to gather food is by shortly. Take your new worker and move him towards the river to the east. See those jumping fish? Select your worker and right-click on the fish. Your worker will start fishing and adding to your food stockpiles. You found ore. When processed, Ore becomes durasteel, which is used to make buildings and defenses strong. You'll need 50 ore to continue. Chewbacca should be along any minute. Until then, keep your workers gathering resources. By now, you should have enough food to create another worker at your command center. That should be enough workers to get the job done. If any workers are idle, the idle worker button will flash below the minimap. Click on the button to jump to any workers who aren't pulling their weight. Excellent. You found some Nova Crystals. These are a valuable commodity that is used as currency throughout the galaxy. You'll need 50 Nova Crystals to go any further. Keep in mind that your workers aren't trained warriors like Chewbacca. They can be vulnerable to attacks from Gundarks and the like. When workers are in trouble, they can run to the command center for shelter. They can even shoot at invaders from the command center. Let's try a drill. Click on the command center. Now click on the Activate Alert Beacon button. Your workers will take shelter in the command center. You've gathered enough ore for now.
Ah, here comes Chewbacca. You've collected resources like an expert frontiersman. <laughs> Are you sure? He learns quickly. I am most impressed. The wind carries with it the threat of an attack. My Wookiee friends have barely learned to harvest food, and yet now I must somehow teach them to create a militia. This will be a great challenge. These Gundark attacks will continue until we stop them. We must train warriors, then find and destroy the Gundark nest. First, we need more workers. Click on your command center. Now click on the Create Worker button. While your worker is being created, set your other workers to harvest food and carbon. Try creating another worker at your command center. Here you've run out of housing. The command center houses five units. Every additional shelter you build allows you to increase your population by another five units. You need to assemble some prefabricated shelters. Click on a worker. Good. The more housing you build, the larger your population can grow. In the lower left corner, click on the buildings button. Then the build prefab shelter button. Then click on the ground, where you want the shelter to be built. Good. You found some nerfs. You can select and move them, just like workers. Move a few nerfs toward your command set. Don't forget, you need to harvest carbon, too. With all this construction, you're probably running low on resources. It's time to build up your food stores. I'll teach you about hunting and herding. If you've explored to the north, you'll probably run across docile creatures known as nerds. If you haven't, you should explore in that direction now. Now you should create a troop center to provide you with warriors. Click on a worker. Now click the military buildings button. Then the Troop Center button. Be sure that Chewbacca doesn't travel too far. He'll need additional warriors to take on the Gundarks in their lair. That patchy section of the river is called a fork. Your soldiers can walk right over it. Good. Now let's build some fighting Wookiees. Click on your troop center and click Create Trooper Recruit. Hey, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's one trooper recruit. Let's train a few more. But first, you need to know about power. Core. Your command center is self-powered, but other buildings require an external source of power to operate at full efficiency. Without power, buildings operate at only 25% efficiency. Click on a worker. Then the build button. Then the build power core button. Then move your mouse over the map. As you look for a place to put the power core, you can see the radius of power that it will supply. Click on the ground where you want it to be built. If Chewbacca is killed, we'll have to call off the mission. Chewbacca is young and impatient for battle. We're almost done training warriors. In the meantime, you can explore some more or create and assign more workers. There's always something to do. Trade Federation Matrodroids. They're wiping out the gun dogs. More enemies approaching. Destroy them. They're attacking. We must defend ourselves. You've got a solid fighting force now. It's time to get rid of the Gundark threat. The Gundarks are on the other side of the river. Let us head north to... <laughs> We have discovered our foes on this distant world. Our lessons are about to take a different path. We've gained knowledge of Trade Federation activity on Alaris. But where there is one battle droid, there is frequently an army. It would be unwise to provoke the Trade Federation with an attack at this juncture. But we will need to upgrade our defenses in case they choose to provoke us. We are in no position to challenge the Trade Federation Army. Now we will concentrate on defending ourselves if they challenge us. First, we'll research basic training. Click on your command center. <laughs> and click the basic training button.
Before your warriors are stronger. I'm going to show you a few more ways to speed up the gathering of food. If you build a food processing center close to a source of food, your workers won't have to walk as far to deliver their food. Click on a worker, then on the Build button, and click Build Food Processing Center. Another source of food is farmed. Have one of your workers build a farm. When the worker finishes his farm, he'll begin harvesting food from it. You need only one worker to harvest a farm. Create a renewable source of food with an animal nursery. Click on a worker and have them build an animal nursery. If you have any nerfs standing around, you can herd them into your new animal nursery. Just select a nerf and right click on the nursery. Animals in your nursery add to your food stores over time. The more nerfs you keep inside the nursery, the more food you'll get. You've met the requirements to advance to a new tech level. Click on your command center, then choose Advance to Tech Level 2. Chewbacca's father is back. He'll work his way back across the map. He says he spotted some battle droids lurking in the area. Paul, you are ordered to come with us. Battle droids. Titok has been shot down. But wait, I sense the spark of life in him still. Stay calm. In moments, we'll be able to create a medic. Then we can find Atatitic and bring him back. Okay, click on your command center and create a Wookiee medic.
This research will make all your existing warriors more skillful. In addition, click on your troop center and choose Upgrade to Bowcaster Troop. Now, assemble your warriors and your medic at the edge of town and go find Atchison. We're approaching Trade Federation territory. Stick together and expect an attack at any time. If any of your troopers are bad, take a moment to apply first aid. Click on your medic. Right click on the wounded unit to heal them. All battle droids. Take them down quickly. Medic that is near a wounded unit automatically apply first aid. <laughs> You found Chewbacca's father. He is critically wounded. We must heal him before he can move. He can move, but he is still weak. Beware of Trade Federation entanglements on the return trip. You should garrison Atichitik in your command center to keep him safe. Select Atichitik, click the garrison button, then click on your command center. I sense another attack coming. Gather your forces and be ready. Destroyer droids, they're very dangerous. 
You'll need all of your forces to beat them back. <laughs> The clouds of battle amass. The leader of the camp, Atichitok, has been critically wounded in a Trade Federation ambush. Battlefield promotions are not easy to deal with, but Chewbacca handles the leadership role with a skill not often seen. He has decided on a perilous course to show our resolve by raiding a nearby Trade Federation outpost. His hope is that they'll think twice before challenging us again. Start by creating workers. We have enough food now to make a dozen more. The more workers we have, the faster we can Very gather nice. resources. Trade Federation politics are an unsubtle blend of thievery and cowardice. They are interested in quick profit, not an extended battle under the watchful eye of the Senate. <laughs> Chewbacca wants to show them that Alaris Prime will not be won cheaply. We've repositioned ourselves near a portion of their army. We're going to strengthen our forces and wipe them out. <laughs> You should create a food processing center near your Muja fruit bushes. <laughs> Built a shipyard. Do you see those jumping fish? They're too far out for your workers to catch. Click on the shipyard and select Build Utility Trawler. Your shipyard needs power to operate efficiently. If you haven't built a power core near the water, you should do that now. Now you can make farms, too. Build them close to your command center or food processing center. Chewbacca will need some help defending your workers. Build a troop center and begin producing bowcaster recruits. Select your new utility trawler and right click on the jumping fish to begin gathering them. You've got enough food to advance to the next tech level at your command center. Mm. 
There are other buildings to speed up resource gathering, too. If you build a carbon processing center near your woodcutters, they can bring wood to it instead of your command center. You can also build processing centers specifically for Nova crystals and metals. <laughs> Tech level 2 provides even more ways to gather An aqua harvester, like a farm, is a renewable food source that occasionally has to be rebuilt. Now you can begin exploring. Don't go too far until you created more recruits to protect the home front. Mm. 
<laughs> ah, you found a good area to unload your troops. To unload your units, select the transport ship and click the unload button. Then right click where you would like to unload. As you explore the map, you'll find good places for your workers to build sentry posts. Sentry posts keep an eye on parts of the map. They're even more effective at higher elevations. Let me show you another source. Bikes are weak in combat, but they greatly speed up exploring and reconnaissance. Now explore some more. If you find trouble, keep moving. Your speeder bikes are best used for exploring, not fighting. Take it for a spin and uncover as much of the map as you can. You've uncovered a lot of the map. Trade Federation must be on the other side of the river. Now I'll show you how to cross them. Select your shipyard and build a transport ship. You found the Trade Federation camp. Be careful, they're still making battle droids. Destroy their troop center to shut them down for good. Build some more troops at your troop center. You'll need a dozen or more troopers to succeed. If you build a second troop center, you can also create troops there to build your army faster. At 
at your troop center. You can set a gather point of your troops down near the water. You can even set the gather point directly on the transport ship. Troopers will be created, walk down, and board the ship until it's full. When you've ferried enough troopers across, attack the Trade Federation Army. <laughs> A lesson learned in battle is sometimes the most indelible. There are many realities in the universe, some of them quite harsh. But one reality that is inescapable is that there is nothing more valuable than a friend. More than food, more than shelter, and more than weaponry, an ally can save your life. Especially when fighting an enemy as despicable as the Trade Federation. The Trade Federation has pressed on despite their losses. Alaris Prime must be a rich world indeed. You have one thing the Trade Federation does not. Allies. They have great resources and large armies, but an ally is valuable beyond measure. I'll show you how to find and interact with allies. Put your workers to work while I explain. 
First things first, have your workers build a spaceport. With a spaceport, you can trade with your allies. You can also buy and sell things from off-world brokers. Shoran has set up another camp a short distance from here. If you click the Diplomacy button on the lower right corner of your screen, you can see Shoran listed as an ally and the Friendless Trade Federation listed as an enemy. The choices you make on this screen determine whether your troops will fire on the units of another faction or help them out. <laughs> your spaceport is the Holonet Transceiver. Start researching it now. The Holonet Transceiver lets you see whatever your allies see. This opens up areas of the map that you'd otherwise have to explore yourself. Now that we know where Shoran is, we can start trading with him. Select your spaceport and build a cargo hover ship. <laughs> Select your new cargo hover ship and right click on Shoran's spaceport to send your hover ship there. You'll have to scroll across the map to find Shoran's spaceport. It looks just like your spaceport, but it's a slightly different color. An ally's gate will open up when you get near it. I'll tell you more about gates later on. Your cargo hover ship will keep traveling back and forth to your ally spaceport. On every return trip, some Nova crystals will be added to your stockpiles. You can send multiple cargo hover ships on any given trade route. Shoran tells me he found something of interest near his camp. A Jedi Holocron. A Holocron is a priceless repository of ancient information. It should not be left lying in the wilderness. We need to build a Jedi temple to house the Holocron. The Jedi Council has just granted us approval to build a Jedi temple on Alaris Prime. Have your workers build a Jedi temple now. Now, select the Jedi Temple and click Create Padawan.
This is my Padawan apprentice, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He still has much to learn about the ways of a Jedi Knight. He can, however, retrieve a holocron. Send your Padawan to Shoran's camp to grab the holocron. I'm ready, Master. Combat awaits. I'm ready, Master. Good. Now send. Wait. Shoran has spotted an excursion of Trade Federation troops. Garrison your workers and ready your fighting Wookiees. Master. <laughs> I'm ready, Master. Combat awaits. Thank you, Master. Now send your Padawan back with the Holocron. Select your Padawan yes, and right-click yes, on the master. Holocron to pick it up. Build several more military units too. We'll need them for future attacks. Shoran has asked I'm for ready, some Nova master. Crystals to help him recover from the Trade Federation attack. He warned us of the attack. It's the least we can do. Open the diplomacy menu again, using the button on the lower right-hand corner. Shoran thanks you. He's tributing us some spare metal in return. Master? I'm ready, Master. Yes, Master. Then click on the Nova Crystal button to tribute 100 Nova Crystals to Shoran. I am your humble Shoran thanks you, tributing us some spare metal in return.
Yes, Master Liu Bei. Excellent work, my friend. Great work. We will directly benefit from the Holocron sequence. It slowly adds Nova Crystals to your stockpile. I am your apprentice. Shoran scouts have discovered an array of Trade Federation listing posts. Master, yes, Master. They are wary of us, keeping tabs on our progress. <laughs> Chewbacca suggests we show them our progress by destroying their listening array. <laughs> I humbly obey. <laughs> Yes, I'm master. ready, master. I'll lend the master. Yes, master. Combat awaits. Master? <laughs> If 
won the day again. Chewbacca's strategies are bearing fruit. <laughs> Master. I sense a war coming. The Trade Federation does not compromise. They will encompass an entire planet without thought of any of the creatures that they need to force out. All or nothing. Chewbacca has wisely decided that we must adopt the stance of our enemy to defeat them. Therefore, Chewbacca has decided that the Trade Federation will have no place on Alaris Prime. I've asked the Jedi Council to allow me to fight with you. They have agreed, on the condition that you create a fortress. We must advance to a new technological level to create a fortress. Then we can destroy the Trade Federation's fortress and chase them off Alara's Prime for good. Shoran has helped us wall off our camp, but we must complete the job. Use your workers to build a medium wall in the gaps. You can even click and drag on the ground to build several wall sections in row. <laughs> Be careful not to wall yourself in, though. Build a gate in one of the larger gaps. The gate allows your units to come and go, but keeps enemy forces out. The Trade Federation will be testing your defenses on a regular basis. It is best to stay prepared. Have you tried building turrets? Tough. They will fire automatically at enemies. Numerous upgrades to make your troops tougher and more effective. You should be building towards your next tech level. Click your command center to find out what you need to advance. Oh. 
Ati Chituk is fully healed and ready to join the fight. I should very much like to join Chewbacca and Ati Chituk on the battlefield. But I cannot until you build a fortress. You should be building toward your next tech level. Click your command center to find out what you need to advance. See the buttons representing resources in the lower left-hand corner? You can buy and sell resources using these buttons. The number on each picture represents the going market prices to buy and sell these resources. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have what you need to advance to the next tech level. You should do that now. You should experiment with the advanced buttons for your units. Click on a single trooper to see the advanced buttons. For example, aggressive stance lets a unit chase enemies across the map. That's the default stance for new units. The defensive stance lets a unit defend itself without being drawn too far into trouble. If your forces are spread thin, you can use the advanced buttons to put a trooper on patrol. If you select several units at once, you can use formation buttons. For example, a box formation makes your stronger units surround and protect your weaker ones. You've made it to Tech Level 3. At this stage, your options for both offense and defense become numerous. You'll find there are many benefits to building a fortress. You should build one now. Incoming droid starfighters, steal yourself for an attack. They appear to be scouting. They will certainly return for an attack shortly. You can now build missile turrets to fend off air attacks. It would be wise to do that right away. You can also build your own air base. Then you can fight the droid starfighters on equal terms. Your air base can make fighters and bombers, as well as air transport ships to move your units across the map quickly. fortress. I shall arrive shortly. The fortress allows you to garrison almost any unit. It also rains heavy blaster fire on nearby enemies. It increases your population capacity, too.
Qui-Gon Jinn here. I spotted some strange starships on the way in. I believe the Trade Federation has sent slavers to capture the Wookiee population. Your fortress can create fierce and fearless Wookiee berserkers. The heavy weapons factory lets you create artillery and other units to do damage at a distance. I serve only the Force. There's the Trade Federation Fortress. To win this battle, we have to reduce it to scrap.
Spike on Jin here. Shall be done. I'll deal with it. I serve only the force. Interesting. We have finished studying the holocron Shoran found. It speaks of an ancient grove nearby. Now that you've built a shield, watch any buildings and units within its radius. They'll slowly acquire shield. I serve only the force must wear down shield before they can damage units. If it serves the greater good.
Dark side. Strong hit. I serve only the Force. Qui-Gon Hill. Qui-Gon reporting in. Force will guide us. I serve only the Force. I'll take them. You've done it. The fortress is destroyed. Trade Federation has lost its footing on Alaris Prime. Wait, there are those strange ships again. But a minor setback. We will see you again. The price of Wookiee Pelts isn't getting any lower. I have taught all that I can. He is ready to take his place in the galaxy. May the Force be with him.